So right now, as you can see in the system, we have got the, uh, let me directly go to the extended warehouse management monitor to show you a warehouse number that has the labor management active. For this, I'm going to use my own test warehouse number AE01. Here, under labor management tab that we defined, let me start with an example of an indirect labor task. I'm going to search for it. And here, as you can see, I have got two indirect labor activities that have been completed, that have the status complete, and I display who, which processor completed it. Here, the name Ali Al Anuster, it was defined by myself for test purposes. So I can see the indirect labor, labor task document here. Also, another great opportunity for managing or evaluating your warehouse employees is that you can create some notes for the specific uh, warehouse activity, indirect labor activity. For example, first cleaning activity was done without any notes uh, created, but the second where indirect labor task is created with the note that cleaning wasn't done nicely. Maybe there was some problem or you can also add some positive messages so that you can promote or you can encourage your warehouse employees. And we talked about planned and executed workload. So let me show you the planned workloads. Uh, here, we will only see some, uh, some steps that have the open warehouse orders because these are planned. We don't know if they are completed or not. And they are using some formulas, conditions to calculate. After we confirm these warehouse tasks or warehouse orders, then they will be displayed here in the executive workload. Let me just search for the time period that we have our, we had our tests. So as you can see, I can see all labor management relevant activities that are completed or could not be completed because of some errors. And the important points here I'd like to uh, make use is that, let me shorten my uh, options here. So as you can see, the important thing is here, I will be see the, I will be seeing the time difference with the plant duration and the travel distance, everything is calculated by the system and the actual duration is completed here, et cetera, et cetera. Or I can have another without an error. So let me choose maybe this one without the errors. If I go and set filter here, I should be seeing the actual execution duration. So for example, for this specific activity, picking with labor management, I had 15 minutes planned duration time. So I expected my employee, my processor, to complete this activity in 15 minutes. However, the start time is 16 past five and the end time is 18 past five. So it is just, it's, it has been completed in just 1.2 minutes. So the system, by having the ratio of the completion time and the plant, actual plant time, the system shows me the efficiency, the differences, and uh, actually, if this uh, occasion repeats itself, then the system can calculate even uh, can adjust the uh, planning, the plant and engineered labor standards again. So we have been talking about some transactions. Let me briefly show you the transactions as well as the final part. So under LMFE, 
I can define certain formulas using many parameters that is uh, offered by standard, or I can also customize it. So here it has, it's been using a very simple uh, formula that is weight divided by two plus five. So which shows you the, uh, at the end of the day, it will create the plant duration time for it. And the units for weight, the units for length and time can be changed here. So when I say weight here, it is using kilograms. And at the end of the day, it will be giving me a time unit with minutes when it comes to the planning or simulation part. And we can also go to the LMCE transaction. And here we will be specifying when to use those formulas. For example, the formula that I've just talked about can be used here only if the weight is higher than 19. So if the products are, uh, are not ha heavier than 20 or 19 kilograms, then the formula will not be used. Or for the pre-processing, for the planning and simulation again, we can have only under this condition, only if the warehouse number is AE01 and the product is EWM S402, the formula can work. So you can have, like I say, labor management is a quite flexible tool and you can customize almost anything in accordance to your planning or evaluation requirements about your workforce, about your human labor, or about your warehouse operations. So if you have any questions, please reach out to us on logistics at mdpgroup.com. We will be happy to share and learn from you, share some information with you. So we are looking forward to the upcoming webinars Please stay tuned. Thank you. Have a great day.